please do not disturb, for I am busy gaming, is what I would be saying if Y2K Part 2 didn't just happen. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, and welcome to the end of the world! Yay! Oh my god, I didn't expect it to be here this soon. That's a lie, I actually would have thought it would be here sooner, but essentially what happened last night was a massive global blackout that's affected a billion computers worldwide. Oh my god, did Cthulhu spawn? No, some IT guy made a mistake, and I want to talk about it in a video. It's insane, it's absolutely brutal. I saw posts getting going viral last night before this was even dropped about people being like, I can't get on my plane. Why can't I get on my, my aero plane and fly to my house? Well... There's a global blackout. You might see some clips around the internet of blue screens of death coating every single screen in every airport. I've seen so many videos of everything going wrong all the time, all at once. There are flights being delayed. There are billboards going down. I even saw this one, which is the same thing. It's an airport. Airport be affected. Guys, airports were affected. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, cash machines. Cash only. We can't use our debit cards like charlatans. I've had enough of this, and I wanted to know why. And it all revolves around a couple company called CrowdStrike, which you probably haven't heard the name of before, but you definitely have heard some of the things they've done. See, CrowdStrike, despite it sounding like a score streak in Call of Duty, is actually a cybersecurity company. It's a company dedicated to protecting businesses and governments from cybersecurity attacks. It's done a lot of big things in the past, so this isn't some, like, malicious hacking group like the gay furry hackers we talked about the other day. This is a real substantiated company that's done a lot of different projects in the past. They helped fight North Korean hackers and have been doing that for the past decade. They helped in the 2014 Sony, Sony data breach, and they even helped during finding out that there was hacking that went down in the 2016 elections. They've done a lot of work for this country and various other countries in the past, so... What the hell happened? Why are we being sent back to the Stone Age? And this, of course, brings us to a tweet that was posted on Twitter, because that's where tweets are posted, by George Kurtz, which is the CEO of CrowdStrike, who said earlier today, CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted. This is not a security incident or a cyber attack. The issue has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. We refer customers to the support portal. Go help. Go get help there. Go talk to our AI, and we can help you. He is essentially saying this wasn't some sort of malicious attack or a hack in their system. Them. It was an error. An oopsies, if I may. You know, just a little oopsie. We're, we're just being, we're little klutzes, my bad. We accidentally put an error out that set down the internet in all of America, London, New Delhi, Istanbul, and most other countries that use CrowdStrike as a cybersecurity program. You know, how airports are gone now? We can't use hospitals. Hospitals are canceling their uh, appointments. There was actually an article I saw about a woman whose dad's vital heart surgery had to be canceled, which could result in the end of his life. It's truly horrible. I think the other people that were affected were FedEx, so packages are not really working out for people, and banks. We've lost all the vital places. All the usual places you'd build first in The Sims have been turned off. What do we do now? Sh should we start attacking people with sticks and such? Probably, probably not, actually. That's... Don't beat people with sticks. That's probably not cool. I'm actually just seeing the notification on my phone right now that a state of emergency has been classified. Uh, ha, 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 um, oh god. But before we start panicking and running around with sticks and beating each other like cavemen, let's transition back into the CrowdStrike official website where they actually released a statement on the top of their site about this entire situation. Mostly giving us information we already know. Things like Mac and Linux hosts were not impacted, giving Linux users another thing to brag about. <laughs> this is not a security incident or a cyber attack. Another thing that I feel really bad for for this company this company that's instated themselves as like the cybersecurity protection of the world now being the reason the world went down this is going to send the company under overnight i believe their stock actually dropped 15 percent in like five hours which is oh my god i feel bad uh, as well as the issue has been identified isolated and a fix has been deployed and i think i read somewhere i can't confirm this so just this is more hearsay i saw that computers that have been logged on to past around 6 a.m est I think. I'm just going to assume that because EST is the only time zone that exists. Uh, uh, essentially, if you log into a computer past that point, you shouldn't have the problem because they've managed to initiate fixes for it. And the real big people that are affected by this are companies that keep their computers on all night every day. So airports, banks, government buildings. My dad works at a government building. That's been affected by it. He's like running around patching up pipes that are pipe like puffing steam. Not really. It's a computer issue. This isn't the world exploding. But if you don't want to believe some curly-haired kid sitting in a random basement in the middle of nowhere, let's get inside the mouth of the big man up top himself, George Kurtz, in an interview he had with the Today Show, which is the best way I could have worded that. I'm sorry. And I want to start with saying we're, we're deeply sorry for the impact that we've caused to customers, to travelers, to anyone affected by this, including our uh, companies. Guys, I'm really sorry. I might have accidentally turned off the whole internet for today, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> 
Um, we know what the issue is. Uh, we're resolving and have resolved the issue now. It's recovering uh, systems that are out there. And essentially, as you've talked about in the statement I put out is, um, the system uh, was sent an update and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a, uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. And uh, we identified this very quickly and remediated the issue. And as systems come back online, as they're rebooted, they're coming up and, and they're working. And now we are uh, working with each and every customer to make sure that we can bring them back online. I will say, I'm not mad at CrowdStrike here. I don't think that CrowdStrike's necessarily in the definite wrong. This was, at its core, a huge mistake. One of the most expensive mistakes you could possibly do that's probably going to result in the loss of life of quite a few people. But it isn't something where I'm like, this company is evil and doing it intentionally to harm people. This was very clearly an error and hopefully they're doing everything they can it seems like they are although this does still leave me with some questions like how is it that one single software bug can have such a profound and immediate impact well when you look at the complexity of cybersecurity, you're always trying to stay one excuse me one step ahead of the adversaries excuse me man just one second please oh yeah take Take a drink of yeah. water. Poor fella probably got a text that his stock was dropping to 0% and was fighting back tears like it was D-Day. <laughs> We're always trying to stay one step ahead of the adversaries. And in this particular case, um, you know, our systems are always looking for the latest attacks from uh, these adversaries that, that are out there. So this content uh, update went out and as, as it does and it's been doing for, for many, many years. Obviously, we've got a robust team that's looking at the safety and security and the quality of these updates and uh, we have to go back and see what happened here but um, if there is a, a negative interaction with the way some of these operating systems work and in this particular case it was it was only the microsoft operating system that was impacted um, you'll see a reaction like this and this is you know what we've seen here so essentially what i'm picking up from that interview is just that the file wasn't anything malicious it wasn't like a little virus that they snuck into every update it just seems like a file that when run with the windows updating system just didn't allow the computer to work anymore. It's kind of like in a game, it's like in TF2, where if you delete that one PNG of a coconut, the entire game just doesn't run. It's a pointless little file that for some reason, when you put that into the Jenga tower, it just all falls down, is what I've picked up from what he's explained. George also covers the allegations that this could be some sort of security breach in the interview. Well, yeah, first and foremost, again, just to reinforce what you said, it wasn't a cyber attack, you know, it was related to this, uh, this content update. And um, as you might imagine, we've been on, uh, you know, with our customers all night and working with them. Many of the customers are rebooting the system and it's coming up and, and uh, it'll be operational because of, uh, you know, we fixed it on, on our end. And some of the systems that aren't recovering, we're working with them. So uh, it could be some time for some systems that just automatically won't recover. But it is, you know, it is our mission is why we're here to make sure that every customer is fully recovered and we're not going to relent until we get every customer back to where they were and we continue to protect them and keep the bad guys out of their systems. And while he speaks like a CEO, like this clearly sounds like a guy trying to save his pulverized stock prices, he does seem to actually want to fix this because this was at its core the biggest and most expensive mistake anyone could ever make. It's horrifying how much power companies like this do have though because like they have the power for a reason. They're clearly trying to protect companies and cyber attacks are very dangerous. But the fact that a company making a single, like tripping over a single pebble causes the whole internet to go down for the day, maybe even multiple days moving forward, is absolutely horrifying. That is the most dystopian thing I've ever heard. There was actually a Reddit post made on the CrowdStrike official subreddit talking about how you want to solve this problem if it happened to you. If you have this problem happening to you right now, if your computer is getting blue screened of death and you don't know why after recently updating your computer, do this. So what you want to do is boot the Windows into safe mode or Windows recovery, recovery environment. Then navigate to Windows, System32, Drivers, and CrowdStrike directory and locate the file matching c 0 sys and delete it and then boot the host normally. That should solve your problem. That's what they've explained and that's what I've seen most people say would completely alleviate any blue screens of death or computer destruction that you could be facing at the moment. And if you want to know what's gone down in this breach so far, there's actually an 
article made by AP News that essentially covers a timeline of everything that's happened so far in this event. Starting with the first, like, noticements of things going wrong. Noticements? Is that a word? It's not, but pretend it is. Uh, thing like 911 went down all the way up to the present day, which was posted, I believe, only a few minutes ago, talking about the thing I mentioned earlier where a family was scared because an emergency heart surgery had to be canceled. However, there are some people that have said they're not affected. New York Manor says no impact on critical infrastructure, and other various companies have said that they are unaffected as well. Probably because they don't use CrowdStrike. But I'm going to be wrapping this video up for now. This is all the information I was able to gather on it so far, so I really hope that I was able to inform you about something. I love just teaching people about things, so I really hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, and like the video if you liked it. And of course, if anyone else is questioning this stuff, send the video to your friends. I'd appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. But for now, thank you for being here. Check your emails for companies sending you information about if they were affected, if you have any account breaches, stuff like that. Just stay safe out there, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and uh, yeah, and uh, end of the world evaded, hopefully, maybe, see you tomorrow, <laughs> please. <laughs>